It's Janice Whale. I'm in New York City. I'm by myself, so I'm not wearing a mask. Well, it's a very short video, but it's uh, purely from my heart. You know how difficult it is for me not to be with my mother right now. And um, as soon as I can get there, I'll be there. And everybody knows I'm a little neurotic with her and everything, but um, <laughs> with you. Um, the one thing that makes me feel comforted during these times is that I know she is getting the best care. All the CNAs, the nurses, all the food people, I know that she's so well taken care of and what can I say? It's just warms my heart and it calms my nervous system to know that everyone is there taking care of her and everyone else, all the nurses, everyone, the, the entire staff. Every morning when I speak to her, she's freezing, as you know, and everybody rushes to get her those warm blankets. And um, I just want to thank everyone and everybody should just be safe, take care of your families, know that we love you um, more than words can say. So to all of Seacrest, thank you. From Janice, thank you. Love you all. Hi to all of you at Seacrest who are working so hard in these challenging times to care for and support the residents of Seacrest. You certainly are our heroes and I send the most sincere appreciation to all of you and wish you everything good and wonderful in 2021. Hi, this is David Lynn in Dallas. My father, Mark Lynn, lived at Seacrest prior to his passing at the age of 97 in February, 2016. Dad was a very outgoing person, always felt a need to be productive and I'll always be grateful to the staff members and caregivers who gave him the opportunity to call bingo games, work at the gift shop, even run miniature golf tournaments. And over the years, whether it was in independent living or assisted living or in the skilled nursing area, he always felt a sense of purpose because of the opportunities that he was given. The skilled nursing staff and the caregivers made it possible for him to continue his volunteer duties and he responded so well that after several months in hospice care, he was told that his condition had improved to the point where he no longer qualified for hospice. My brother and I believe that the care and the love that our father received from you, the caregivers and staff at Seacrest extended his life, not by months, but by several years. And for that, we'll always be grateful. So during this difficult time, please know that your work is appreciated and it's never forgotten. My best wishes to all of you for a happy and healthy new year. Thank you again. I want to extend my thanks and gratitude to all the staff and the workers at Secrets Village for their hard work and sacrifices for keeping us safe and uh, healthy during this challenging time. Happy New Year 2021. Hi, my name is Jim Greenstein, and I'm with my wife. Hi, I'm Carrie. We are very grateful for the caregiving provided by Seacrest, especially during these challenging times. Seacrest and the Hebrew home have provided care to our family for many generations. My great-grandmother, my grandmother, my mother, and most recently, my aunt and uncle have been under the special care of Seacrest and the Hebrew home. Also, my grandmother has been in independent living and then Goldberg and received amazing care from your compassionate team. Everybody's been wonderful. Thank you. And we wish you a healthy and happy new year. Hi Seacrest, happy new years. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for being such great support for my mother. 
and for everybody else there. It really takes a special person to do what you do and not a day goes by that we don't think of you and appreciate you. So thank you so much for taking care of my jewel, my mother who just turned 96. Living in Amsterdam so far away, it makes it so comforting to have you there taking care of her. Here's a little taste of Amsterdam and we look forward to being in California again. I love you all. Thank you so much once again for doing everything that you do. And my whole family thanks you. Bye. Pam, Pam Carl, and all the executives, I just wanna thank you so much for all your work and everything that you're doing for the community and for everybody at Seacrest. It's absolutely amazing how you've communicated and kept us all updated. To the caregivers and the staff at Seacrest, we cannot thank you enough for everything that you do, looking after the residents, working together. It must have been terribly trying times and I'm sure they're still going to continue, but just thanks for all your support. Just a little story on my mom, Elsie Roth. Uh, when my daughters and I and Sylvia went to visit her earlier in the year and we told her she's turning 100, we got into a big argument that she said no, she is turning 200 and refused to accept the fact that she's only 100. But for her birthday last week, when we got her the, brought her the poster and the poster was for her 100th birthday. My understanding is when the staff went to wish her happy birthday, she got into an argument with them that no, she's not 100, the poster's wrong, she's 200. That's my mother, still got a mind of her own, argumentative, and thanks again to everybody, and a special Amen. thanks to all the staff. From David and Sylvia Roth. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, and if I could, I'd hug them, because they have been so good to me, and all the other residents. Uh, with good humor. Uh, they've shown up every day. Uh, so that's what I would do. Uh, try to convince them how much I appreciate what they do for me. Hi, Hi Seacrest family. Bob and I are so thankful and appreciative for all the extra efforts and responsibilities you have undertaken during this difficult time. You each have given so much of your heart and soul to provide our family with a loving, caring, and safe home. In our absence, you literally have been our loved one's main family. During these past several months, our sister, Anita Moss, has lived in the Katzen and Goldberg communities. The staff in both areas have been incredible, as has all the Seacrest staff. Just one example of the extraordinary effort the Katzen family did during the COVID pandemic happened on and around our sister's birthday. I was so worried how we were going to celebrate Anita's birthday during COVID, but my worries was for naught. The Katzen staff, along with Seacrest at home, gave Anita a two-day birthday celebration that was the best ever with presents, special treats, and lots of attention. They even arranged so we could watch Anita via FaceTime and enjoy the celebrations. When it came time for the birthday cake celebration, the staff all gathered in the sunshine room, sang happy birthday as Anita blew out the birthday candles. Then together, the staff and Anita drank sparkling cider and ate the birthday cake. It could not have been more perfect. Anita was beaming with such happiness. Since being in the Goldberg community, the staff has been awesome, treating Anita with much love, care, patience, and respect. This was demonstrated to us on our Thanksgiving Day FaceTime visit. Anita was all dressed up, looking so pretty and happy. It was obvious the Goldberg staff put a lot of effort into making this day special for Anita and the other residents. And during the recent holiday season, thanks to the Goldberg Life Enrichment staff, we were able to have several FaceTime visits 
so we can celebrate the holidays together virtually and watch Anita with assistance open her Hanukkah presents. The teamwork among all the Seacrest staff during this difficult time has been outstanding. You have all done an amazing job under very stressful circumstances, and you have done it with such love, grace, and care. Thank you so much. Bob and I are very grateful to each and every one of you. You are our, our heroes. heroes. Hi. I'd like to give a shout out to the culinary and the maintenance teams at Seacrest. My father was at Seacrest in independent living, assisted living, and skilled nursing, and he had some pretty interesting requests, and he always got what he wanted. Well, not always. He never did get bacon at breakfast, but just about everything else. It's often the little things behind the scenes that count. Thank you to all the heroes at Seacrest Village for everything that you do every day. Thank you Seacrest heroes who've looked after those in our community who need the assistance. You've been amazing over the, particularly over the last number of months, dedicated to helping and protecting and just being amazing angels to our elderly community. Thank you. We're so grateful for all you do, whether you work in the kitchen, at the front door, one of the nurses, wherever you work. Or in management. Management. <laughs> and we so look forward for our friends to be able to see their parents once again, safely and well. Happy New Year. And we look forward to seeing you at the gala in yeah. February. Bye. Wear your masks. Hi, this is Shirley Pigeon. Um, I'm sure you all remember me through my parent, my mother, Louise Weiss, and my mother-in-law, Leonard Greenberg. Um, I just want to thank all of you so very, very much for all your help and support and love and uh, know that you're doing such a great job, especially now with all this pandemic going on. And I'm just wishing you and your families good health and success and we will get through this. this. This too will pass. Anyway, our love from Harold and I and um, all the best in the new year. Thank you again for all your help and support. Bye now. Hi, we are Rabbi Joel Newman and Janet Newman, daughter and son-in-law to Joan Frosch and cousins of Barbara Myers and Marilyn Sachs and friends of so many of the Seacrest residents. We'd like to thank the heroes of Seacrest Village for the diligence, creativity, and patience you have shown and continue to show during this COVID-19 pandemic. We so appreciate you keeping the residents safe and entertained and well-fed and cared for as you navigate each day. We pray for your strength, health, and want you to know, Gamze Ya'avor, this too shall pass. Thank you. Thank you. Your genuine care given to the residents is extremely appreciated. Thank you for going the extra mile with a loving touch or caring word for our loved ones. All your work is appreciated and incredible. Thank you for the endurance and dedication during these tough times. You're extremely extraordinary and deserve the best. Thank you, Patty. My wife Linda and I would like to say thank you to the Seacrest staff for your dedication and your commitment and your tireless efforts. You've gotten the residents of Seacrest through this pandemic and we are more than grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Dearest Seacrest heroes, uh, this is Lenore Bohm. I'm talking on behalf of my sister and myself. I want to thank you so much for the care and concern that you've extended to our family and friends who are your residents. They have felt safe. They are safe due to your tremendous diligence. My mom, Trudy Bohm, lives in assisted living. My aunt, Alice Marowitz lives in uh, 
uh, skilled nursing section and uh, my good friends, Cantor Sheldon Merrill and uh, Dave Albert, among many others, uh, live in the independent areas. Um, they all have retained their good spirits and that's a direct reflection um, of the warmth you've extended towards them and you're keeping your good humor with all the extra demands on you, all the extra demands of cleanliness and quarantining and your own concerns, of course, about your health and that of your families that you have continued to create um, a loving and supportive environment for our friends and family members really is an extraordinary gift and I am deeply grateful. I want to particularly mention Mimi who has shown my mom uh, great attention and um, warmth over the past several months. But really many, many staff members from those who organize uh, our visits when those were possible to the services and programs that are on the in-house uh, channel. Uh, to those of you who deal with the daily medication and cleaning needs of the residents, uh, you all have done what's nearly impossible. You've kept people's spirits up along with keeping our family members and loved ones safe and healthy. Uh, I want to mention that I'm sitting in front of a painting that my aunt Alice Morowitz uh, made about 50 years ago. You can see uh, her name behind my uh, left ear in this, uh, in this picture. And uh, I wanted to take this here um, just to show you the quality of um, the kind of people that uh, your selfless work is supporting. Uh, my aunt uh, was and remains a creative and deeply compassionate person. Uh, my mother is a woman of um, intellect and generosity and you have helped them continue to live out their lives uh, in dignity and to remain part of our uh, family circle. So I want to thank everyone Pam for setting the tone, uh, Carl for his very compassionate and reassuring messages, even when he's uh, giving us uh, news, and all the people who helped with the visiting program uh, and who work so hard to keep Seacrest in an upbeat, positive atmosphere. Thank you all very, very much, and I really look forward to being able to express this thanks in person, hopefully in the not too distant future. Hello, Seacrest Village staff. My name is Monique Showalter, and I'm the daughter of 98-year-old resident Doris Gonzi. Doris has been a resident at Seacrest for more than five years, and in 2020 had the dubious distinction of having resided in independent living, then the skilled nursing facility, and most recently, Doris transitioned to the assisted living facilities. Throughout her entire stay at Seacrest, Doris and the entire Gonzi family have been touched, amazed, and appreciative of the many staff members' care and attention to Doris's physical and emotional well being. All of you are truly. Seacrest Heroes. Each and every need or want that the staff takes on, from serving Doris a delicious, just as she requested, meal, to extending a personal, you'll like this, invite to special cultural events, even providing words of encouragement and support when she needs it. Each task is taken on with a smile, care, and a gentleness that is truly heartwarming, especially in these challenging times when many of the staff have their own personal health and safety concerns. That personal care and attention to Doris's every need 
is truly savored. So on behalf of Doris's entire family, I'm extending our sincere and heartfelt thanks to each and every Seacrest Village staff member for your never compromised care and attention, for every smile, for every soft, gentle touch, every kind word. But most of all, thanks to each of you for giving Doris the care and love that is typically only expected and provided from family. Thank you, Seacrest Heroes, from the bottom of our hearts for keeping Doris safe, content, and happy. We so appreciate it. Thank you everybody at Seacrest for taking care of our Nana Evelyn. Everyone there has been so wonderful with three meals a day and support and help and taking care of all of their needs. We know everybody is staying safe and we really appreciate all the work you do. Thank you so much for taking care of our Nana and those that we loved and we appreciate all of your support and we can't wait to see you all in person soon. Keep up the good work, we'll get through this. Bye. Hello Seacrest family. This is Jean Galus and I hope that you are all well. Just a short video to thank you for all of your efforts to keep our beloved residents safe and sound. You have worked so hard, you have made so many sacrifices, and we want you to know that we are in awe of you. We respect you, we appreciate all of your care, and we hope that you and your families are safe too during this coming year. Thank you once again for everything. You are such heroes. I want to say thank you to the incredible staff uh, at what used to be Seacrest Village Rancho Bernardo. Uh, they took such great care of my dad uh, when he lived there, uh, when he moved from Atlanta to San Diego. He loved it there. The staff was incredibly kind and gracious and loving. And the last two weeks of his life were spent at the Seacrest Encinitas campus at the Goldberg Health Center uh, where he just received uh, the best care and um, the, from the most loving and warm and wonderful nurses, doctors, caregivers, everybody there could not have been nicer. So from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you to everybody at Seacrest Village. I also want to express my gratefulness and pride that I feel for being a part of the Seacrest family here. Um, when we all think back to last March, um, when the virus started to explode, we were faced with fears, um, concerns, uncertainty, and we really had no idea what pathway we, we would all be going down. Um, and adversity has an opportunity to either make us bitter or better. So in this case, I see that it has really made us better as we, um, as the days and weeks and months unfolded, yes, there were periods of fear and concern and uncertainties. We really didn't know what to expect, um, but it's brought out so many amazing qualities in the people that I am privileged to work with here at Seacrest Village. Um, what I've seen has really made us better. The Seacrest team, we've worked together, um, not just hanging in there, but as I like to say, standing firm with a resiliency that is unprecedented. I'm so blessed to work with my assisted living team. Um, they have remained strong and committed to the work that they're called to do each day. They have continued to recognize their purpose and not let their fears overcome them. And when we had to don the PPE, yes, um, we've been, we were nervous. Um, we weren't sure what to expect, what was going to happen, but what was really needed took place. People put on their equipment and did what was needed. Um, no one ever said they wouldn't do it. No one ever said they, they wanted to quit. Um, everyone followed through on the, the path that was needed to care for our residents and to protect each other also. What an admirable group um, I am honored to be a part of. I also want to say that I'm grateful to be a part of this team because I really appreciate the leadership that Pam and Carl have provided to all of us. Um, they too have um, stood firm and not, not just left us to our own. They've always been available and been there for the whole Seacrest family. So 
it really is pretty easy to see the heroes who are here at Seacrest. Um, they are the staff that come in every day for their shift, do what needs to be done, and um, just without a lot of fanfare. No glimmering lights, no red carpets, but just um, a resiliency and a committedness to care for our residents and to care for each other. The people here are truly amazing heroes and I am really proud to be part of their team. A huge thank you to everybody at Goldberg Healthcare Center for taking such good care of our mom. All the nurses and caregivers and everyone else involved, we appreciate you so much. From our whole family, thank you. Hello, I'm Susie. And I'm Zane. I'm on the Seacrest Foundation Board, and I also have a great aunt in Goldberg, and another aunt who just spent a few days there after a hospital visit. We are so grateful for all that you do, day in and day out, for the residents and each other. You are already heroes in our book for choosing this line of work, but working through this pandemic has taken your heroics to a whole new level. I can only imagine how ready you are to be on the other side of this. Hopefully we are in the home stretch. <laughs> Again, thank you for the love and care that you give each day and for the sacrifices that you have made over the last 10 months to put others first. Thank you. To everyone at Seacrest and especially Goldberg and the nursing station, my thanks and my love for absolutely everything that you do. I wish I could express my gratitude in a major way but this is truly all I can do right now. My love to all of you. Stay safe, be well, and know that I love you. This video is to express my sincere thanks to the team at Seacrest. You guys take care of my mother, Estelle, and the last year has been filled with unprecedented challenges. Uh, you put your life on the line every day when you come to work, and I can't tell you how much I and my family appreciate all you do. You are truly heroes, and I just want to wish you and your families a safe and happy 2021. And again, thank you so much. I will be forever grateful to our Seacrest staff who have truly earned the title of heroes. I appreciate so much what you did for my mother when she was at Seacrest for about two and a half years. The personal connection that you made with her allowed her to accept your help. You were also very patient, very giving, and really treat each resident as an individual, all with different needs. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Hi, I wanted to send this message out to all of the Seacrest staff. We all wanted to tell you thank you so much for all the hard work that you do. You're doing a great job of keeping people like my mom safe and everyone else that's there. We know it's not an easy job, and we really just wanted to say thank you. To all the staff and our invisible heroes, even though we might not always see you, we know you are there, behind the scenes, giving your everything, trying your best. Thank you for your hard work, bravery, commitment, compassion, and compromise. Thank you again. You are our angels. I know when people think about Seacrest Village, they might be apt to think about it as a building and a campus and a place. And while it is all of those things, I think now more than ever we realize that Seacrest Village is about the people, the people that reside there. And right now, very much importantly, are the people who take care of them. That includes everyone from top to bottom. And I, I there are more departments than I can even think of, but from caretakers, aides, culinary, engineering, administrative, 
every, every single person that helps take care of the building and the campus is contributing to taking care of the people and the residents that live there. So this year, we honor all of, all of you who take care of our loved ones at Seacrest Village. You truly are our heroes. You do have hearts of gold. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you more than you can ever imagine. Thank you.